This was brought to you by Franklin County Internet Gaming Society on YouTube and Facebook. Weighted cross. This plus two heavy crossbow is magically strengthened and fitted with sharp metal blades. In addition to functioning as a normal plus two heavy crossbow, the bladed crossbow can be used as a melee weapon with a plus two enhancement bonus that deals 1d8 plus two points of damage. Critical times two. Unless the wielder takes the exotic weapon proficiency bladed crossbow B, melee attacks made with the weapon incur the negative 4 non proficiency penalty. Faster, level 9. Level 9. Prerequisites Craft magic arms and armor. Blade bearer. Barrier. Market price 32,350 gold pieces. Cost to create 16,350 gold pieces plus 1,280 XP. Bolt of Freedom. These plus one bolts are constantly coated with a thin film of oil or grease. They leave a thin they leave a thin, oily residue what, wherever they lie, and even the fletching seems soaked in oil. Any target hit by a bolt of freedom is covered with a thin layer of grease. This coating grants a plus 10 bonus on escape artist checks. Coating grants a plus 10 bonus on escape artist checks and on grapple decks made to escape grapple. A creature so coded takes a negative 10 penalty on grapple checks made to hold another creature. The effect lasts for one die four rounds. Caster level seven. Prerequisites, craft magic arms and armor, grease, Market price 247 gold pieces. Costs to create 127 gold pieces plus 10 XP. Bolt of Voices. These plus two bolts have bright fletching and often have brightly painted shafts as well. Also known as a mage bone as mage bone bolts. They are feared by many spellcasters. Anyone hit by a bolt of voices must succeed in a will save DC 16 or suffer from the bolts distracting efforts. Target to fail their saves hear voices that seem to whisper inside their heads. Those affected by a bolt of a bolt of voices must make a concentration check. DC 16 plus spell level to cast any spells. This effect lasts for 1 die 6 rounds. Caster level, 9th prerequisites, craft magic arms and armor, feeble, feeble mind, market price, 767 gold pieces, cost to create, 387 gold pieces, plus 31 XP, Bonebreaker hammer, this massive plus 2 core hammer, glows on command with a fierce red light, the hammer sheds light as the light, light spell, on a critical hit, the Bone Breaker Hammer deals 1d6 points of temporary dexterity damage in addition to its normal damage. Caster level 13. Prerequisites Craft Magic Arms and Armor. Arm Market Price 18,312 gold pieces. Cost to create 9,312 gold pieces plus 720 XP. O of Arcane Mind. This plus one mighty plus two composite longbow is covered in an intricate arcane runes. The bow of arcane might allow its wielder to channel the energy of arcane spells through it to make attacks with the bow more damaging. As a move equivalent action that does not provoke an attack of opportunity, the wielder can sacrifice a prepared arcane spell from memory or a unused spell slot if a spontaneous arcane caster during so add a damage bonus equal to the sacrifice spells level to the next attack made with the bow of arcane might. This damage bonus stacks with the normal enhancement bonus from the bow and any magic arrows used in the attack.
caster level 15. Our uh, prerequisites, magic, we'll cast magic arms and armor, greater magic weapon, market price 8,600 gold pieces, cost to create 4,600 gold pieces, plus 320 XP, bow of force, this plus 2 mighty, plus 3 composite longbow, imbues each arrow shot from it with a magical force, arrow shot from the bow of force, become force attacks and have no missed chance against incorporeal targets and bypass damage reduction but they don't damage creatures immune force effects caster level 9 prerequisites craft magic arms and armor magic missile market price 32,700 gold pieces cost to create 16,700 gold pieces plus 1,280 XP. Bow of Mighty Pulling. Made of thick but flexible wood, this plus three composite short bow allows its wielder to pull all of his strength into a shot. While using the Bow of Mighty Pulling, the wielder may take a new equivalent action to pull the bow. This allow, allows the wielder to apply up to his full strength modifier damage on the next single shot with the bow, provided that the shot occurs within one round of the pull action. Caster level 9, prerequisite, craft magic arms and armor, full strength, market price 26,375 gold pieces, cost to create 13,375 gold pieces, plus 1,040 XP. Bow of Radiance. On command, this plus two longbow radiates light out of 60 feet as the daylight spell. Furthermore, every arrow shot from the Bow of Radiance sheds light as the spell. There is no limit to the armor of time, that, or the amount of time that the bow itself can radiate light. But the light shed by an arrow shot from the bow lasts only 10 Master level 9th, prerequisites, craft magic arms and armor, light, daylight, market price, 40,375 gold pieces, cost to create, 20,375 gold pieces, plus 1,600 XP. Bow of the so Solars, this large plus 2, mighty plus 5, Composite longbow turns any arrow it fires into a slang arrow targeting any creature with the wielder. You know, which any target fires into a slang arrow targeting any creature type the wielder chooses. Caster level 13 prerequisites craft magic arms and armor. Finger of death market price 100,100 gold pieces. Cost to create. 50,500 gold pieces plus 3,968 XP. Both songs. Made from fine wood by elven hands, this plus two short bow blends music with every shot to deadly effect. As a move equivalent action that does not provoke an attack of opportunity, the wielder may give up one daily use of bardic music to add his charisma bonus to attack and damage rolls on the next single attack made with the bow of songs. Caster level 8 prerequisites craft magic arms and armor. Creator must be elven. Creator must have bardic music abilities. Sculpt sound market price 32,330 gold pieces. Get cost to create 16,330 gold pieces plus 1,280 XP. Bow of the steps. Magical properties imbued in this plus two mighty plus two composite short bow makes it easier to use when mounted. Shots fired from this bow 
from the bow of the steps while mounted incur only a negative two penalty on attacks if the wielder's mount takes a double move. Short no shots fired while the wielder's mount is running take only a negative four penalty on attacks. Caster level ninth prerequisites craft magic arms and armor. Phantom steel no steed market price 18,525 gold pieces, cost to create 9,525 gold pieces, plus 720 XP. Bow of Sympathetic Enhancement. In addition to its own magical enhancement, this plus two short bow imparts a temporary enhancement bonus to any arrow shot from it. Arrow shots from the bow of Sympathetic Sympathetic enhancements are treated as a plus one arrow, as plus one arrows for one round. Arrows that were magic to begin with gain no additional benefits. Caster level 10. Prerequisites craft magic arms and armor. Great, greater magic weapon. Market price. 32,330 gold pieces, cost to create 16,330 gold pieces plus 1,280 XP. Post staff. As a move equivalent action, the wielder can change this thin flexible plus two quarterstaff into a plus two longbow or back again. Both forms perform exactly like a regular magical weapon of their type. Caster level 15. Prerequisites craft magic arms and armor, polymorph, any object, market price 10,975 gold pieces. Cost to create 5,975 gold pieces plus 400 XP. Breaking Blade. Cleverly shaped and magically enhanced to shatter opponent's weapons, the Breaking Blade grants its wielder the Sunder Beat while she holds the weapon. This plus two halberd is particularly effective when used against simple and martial reach weapons. When attacking such weapons, it deals double damage. The metal hat of the breaking blade has a hardness of 15 and 20 hit points. Caster level 11 prerequisites craft magic arms and armor. Shatter market price 18,310 gold pieces. Cost to create 9,310 gold pieces plus 720 XP. Brutal axe. This plus one keen battle axe has a thick haft and a heavy, almost unbalanced head. Whenever the brutal axe scores a successful critical hit, the wielder may make a free trip attempt against the target. If the brutal axe is used in two hands, the wielder can apply one and a half times his strength bonus to this trip attempt. Caster per level seven prerequisites. Craft magic arms and armor. Keen edge. Market price 18,310 gold pieces. Cost to create 9,310 gold pieces plus 720 XP. Celestial Blade. This large plus three bastard sword is the favored weapon of planeters. It always shines light equivalent to a torch, 20 foot radius, and its blade is typically engraved with the symbol of the deity served by the plan planeter. Caster level, ninth prerequisites, craft magic arms and armor, market price 18,355 gold pieces, cost to create 9,335 gold pieces, plus 720 XP, celestial mace. This plus three disruption heavy mace is the favored weapon of astral divas. It always shines light equivalent to a torch, 20 feet radius. Caster level 14 prerequisites, craft magic arms and armor, kill, market price 50,312 gold pieces, cost to create 25,312 gold pieces, plus 2,000 XP. Chain of Entangle. This hook plus two spike chain wraps around foes, entrapping them and dealing continuous damage. 
damage. On a successful hit, the chain of entangling allows its wielder to attempt to grapple the target. On subsequent attacks, the wielder can attempt to hold the target in the chain. Treat the attack as a normal hold attempt that it deals the damage of the spike chain rather than unarmed damage. The target may attempt to break the grapple as normal. Caster level 6 prerequisites. Craft magic arms and armor. U yords or uverds, everds, black entangles. Market price 32,325 gold pieces. Cost to create 16,325 gold pieces plus 1,280 gold pieces. Changeling Spear. This plus two half spear can easily shift forms as a free action. The wielder can change the weapon into a short spear, a long spear, or back to a half spear. The wielder may also may change the spear in this way once per day. The wielder may change the spear in this way once per day. Caster level eight prerequisites craft magic arms in armor. Alter self market price eighteen thousand three hundred and one gold pieces cost to create nine thousand three hundred and one gold pieces plus seven hundred and twenty XP charge breaker this plus one keen long spear has a barbed shaft that deals even more damage when set against a charging opponent when a character uses a ready action to set charge breaker against a charge it deals triple damage on a successful hit. Caster level 5th prerequisites craft magic arms and armor. Keen edge market price 18,305 gold pieces. Cost to create 9,305 gold pieces plus 720 XP. Claws of the leopard. This pair of plus 2 spike gauntlets have been shaped to look like the claws of an oversized cat. In addition to their enhancement bonus, they provide several feline like advantages. While wearing the claws of the leopard, the wielder gains light, no low light vision on a plus 10 enhancement bonus on climb checks. During the first round of combat, the wielder can leap on a foe, allowing her to make a full attack with the claws of the leopard, even if she has already taken a move action. This ability functions exactly like the leopard's pounce ability. See Appendix one animals of the monster man caster level six prerequisites craft magic arms and armor creature must have five ranks in climb cat's grace market price 38,305 gold pieces cost to create 19,305 gold pieces plus 1,520 xp closing blade this Plus three slash plus two two bladed sword shows its wielder allows its wielder to continue fighting effectively when grappled. Anytime the wielder is grappled, he can make attacks against the creature he is grappling as if the closing blade were a tiny weapon. Caster level nine prerequisites. Craft magic arms and armor. Reaction market price fifty eight thousand five. 58,700 gold pieces, cost to create 29,700 gold pieces, plus 2,320 XP. Crossbow Epon. The two thin hollows in this plus two light crossbow shock of stock have a magical affinity with wands. The wielder of the death wand crossbow is considered to be holding either of the wand when she wields the crossbow. She can use either wand or normal without letting go of crossbow. Removing a stowing, removing or stowing a wand in the crossbow takes a move equivalent action. If the crossbow is destroyed, the wands it holds are also destroyed. As her level 11 prerequisites have magic arms and armor. Leoman's secret chest market price 10,335 gold pieces. Cost to create 5,335 gold pieces plus 400 XP. Crossbow Dwarven Mauler. This large plus two heavy crossbow is 
covered with dwarven runes, and the intricate stock has been carved to resemble the head of a hammer. Because of its increased size, the dwarven smaller deals a 1d12 points of damage on a successful hit. This increase in size does not affect the time it takes to load the crossbow. Furthermore, against all giants and goblinoids, the dwarven smaller's critical multiplier is increased to times 4. Caster level 7. Prerequisites. Craft magic arms and armor. Creature must be a dwarf. Market price 18,700 gold pieces. Cost to create 9,700 gold pieces plus 720 XP. <clears throat> Crossbow inevitable. This stock and rest, uh, the stock and rest of this plus one light crossbow are covered in carvings, each resembling a slightly different eye. If a bolt from an inevitable crossbow misses the wielder's next shot, if a bolt from an inevitable crossbow misses the wielder's next shot, if aimed at the same target gains an additional plus one insight bonus on the attack roll. If the second shot misses, the insight bonus increases to plus two. As long as the wielder continues to fire at the same target and continues and continues to miss, subsequent shots gain bigger insight bonuses increased by plus one each time up to a maximum of plus five. The sequence of shots must occur on consecutive rounds. If a round passes without the wielder shooting at the same target, crossbow insight bonus reverts to zero. Caster level 15 prerequisites craft magic arms and armor. True sh strike market price 18,335 gold pieces. Cost to create 9,335 gold pieces plus 720 XP. Crossbow of the Retrieving. This plus two hand crossbow has a clear, cleverly carved stock that resembles a beckoning hand. Any inanimate object struck by a bolt from a crossbow of retrieving is affected by a mage hand spell. See attack and object in chapter 8 of the player's handbook for rules on attacking inanimate objects. Caster level 7. Prerequisites. Craft magic arms. Craft magic arms and armor. Mage hands of telekinesis. Market price 13,400 gold pieces. Cost to create 6,900 gold pieces plus 520 XP. Crossbow of trailing flame. Made from a deep red hued wood. This plus one flaming heating crossbow is strengthened by hands of wrought iron and carved with shallow markings that resemble flickering flames. Anytime the crossbow of trailing flames is fired more than once in the same round, it its additional property. No, its additional properties property is activated it's activated. Each shot after the first in the round deals a cumulative plus one point of fire damage. Plus one point of fire damage. For example, the second shot in a round deals one D eight plus one normal damage and one D six plus one fire damage. And the third shot in the same round deals one D eight plus one normal damage and 1d6 plus 2 fire damage. Caster level 13 prerequisites craft magic arms and armor, flame blade, flame strike or fireball, market price 8,550 gold pieces, cost to create 9,550 gold pieces plus 720 XP. Cutlass of Surety. The magical properties of this plus two short sword makes it impossible for the wielder to be disarmed. The sword grants no bonus on disarmament initiated by the wielder. Caster level six prerequisites 
craft magic arms and armor, magic weapon, market price 18,310 gold pieces, cast cost to create 9,310 gold pieces plus 720 XP, dagger of defense says plus 4, defending dagger has a long thin blade in a broad guard and is an excellent pairing weapon as long as the wielder holds the dagger of defense in his off hand he cannot be flanked rogues of 16th level or higher can flank the character normally caster level 12 prerequisites craft magic arms and armor shield market price 58,302 gold pieces cost to create 29,302 gold pieces plus 2,000 320 XP. Dagger of Entry. Greatly prized by rogues and others with larceny on their minds, a dagger of entry looks like a plain, if finely crafted dagger. This plus one, this plus one dagger's one oddity is its strangely shaped hilt, which looks like an oversized key. The dagger is capable of opening almost any door, allowing its possessor to cast knock once per day as a ninth level caster. In addition, the dagger allows its wielder to cast fine traps once per day and detect secret doors once per day, both as the spell from a ninth level caster. Caster level 9 prerequisites craft magic arms and armor, detects secret doors, fine traps, uh, market price 18,502 gold pieces, cost to create 9,402 gold pieces, plus 728 XP. Dart of Penny. Although it looks more like a large needle than an instrument of war, this plus two dart has the ability to hold a bow motionlessly. Targets strike no, targets struck by a dart of pinning must make a successful fortitude save, DC 13, or be paralyzed as though by carry, carry a, by curious crawler brain juice. See poison in chapter 3 of the Dungeon Master's Guide. This effect lasts for 7 rounds. Caster level 9, prerequisites, craft magic arms and armor. Old Matt Monster, market price 18,300 gold pieces, cost to create 9,300 gold pieces, plus 720 XP. Desert Heart, the dark me metal of this plus two flaming falchion is imbued with a deep red tint. Any creature holding Desert Heart is immune to fire damage and takes double damage from cold effects. Creatures with the cold subtype do not gain this benefit. Instead, Desert Heart bestows, bestows a negative level on them which pers persists as long as they hold the blade. This negative level never results in actual level loss, but it cannot be overcome in any way, including restoration spells, while the weapon is wielded. Caster level 8 Prerequisites, craft magic arms and armor, fireball protection from elements, market price 71,175 71, gold pieces, cost to create 35,775 gold pieces, plus 2,832 XP. Disarming flail, the magic chain on this, plus 2 heavy well gives the weapon a greater ability to pull opponent's weapons from the grasp. The disarming flail grants a plus two circumstance bonus to disarm checks and allows the wielder to make disarm attempts as though she possessed the improved disarm feat. This bonus stacks with the normal bonus flails received on disarm check. Caster level 6, prerequisites, craft magic arms and armor, magic weapon, magic price 18,395 gold pieces, cost to create 9,335 gold pieces, plus 723 XP. So we have the electric lasso, we have the dagger of entry, 
the death wand crossbow, the elven leaf arrows, crossbow of trailing flames, the dragon tooth, the desert heart, and the dwarven smaller crossbow. Doorbreaker. This plain looking plus one battle axe resembles mundane wood chopping axes more than other battle axes and it is especially effective against wood and similar materials. A door breaker deals double damages to all objects made predominantly of wood and to plant creatures. Caster level 5 prerequisite craft magic arms and armor for wood Market price 8,310 gold pieces. Cost to create is 4,310 gold pieces plus 320 XP. Dragon Tooth. Made from a single tooth of an ancient blue dragon. This plus 2 shock rapier projects a fearsome aura around its wielder. Those within 5 feet of the wielder must succeed on a will save DC 16 or suffer the effects of the will spell or the fear spell from an 8th level caster. Once foes have made a successful saving throw against the feet aura, they are immune to the aura's effect for one day. Caster level 8 prerequisites. Craft magic arms and armor, gear, lightning bolt. Market price 40,720 gold pieces. Cost to create 20,520 gold pieces plus 1,616 XP. Electric Clash. The blue tingled leather of this plus two shock whip seems to spark with small motes of electricity. electric energy. Three times per day, the wielder of the electric lash may make an arch arc. Our arcing strike. This attack deals an additional 2d6 points of electricity. Arcing strike. This attack deals an additional 2d plus 2d6 points of electricity damage. 3d6 total to the target if the attack is successful. Furthermore, the electric jolt arcs to any one creature within 5 feet of the target. The target takes half as much electricity damage as the first target did. If more than one creature is within 5 feet of the target, go randomly to see which one is affected by the arc of electricity. Arcing strike damage is not multiplied by critical hits. Caster level 8 prerequisites. Craft magic arms and armor, lightning bolt, market price 50,301 gold pieces, cost to create to 25,301 gold pieces, plus 2,000 XP. Elven Leaf Arrow. These plus two arrows are tipped with magically strengthened leaves rather than metal tips. Anyone firing an Elven Leaf Arrow can, as a free action, declare that the arrow be kills subdual rather than regular damage. Subdual rather than regular damage. Furthermore, whenever an elven leaf arrow deals subdual damage in a temperate woodland environment, the target must succeed on a will save DC 11 or be charmed as the charm monster spell from a 10th level caster. Caster level 10 prerequisites craft magic arms and armor. Creature must be an elf. Charm monster market price 1167 gold pieces. Cat cost to create 587 gold pieces plus 47 XP. This was brought to you by Franklin County Internet Gaming Society on YouTube and Facebook. Roger Hansen on Patreon, and Gaming with Infamous on Discord. Thanks for stopping by. Listen to our podcast on any of these platforms. Anchor. Breaker. Overcast. Pocket Casts. Radio Public. Spotify. Support us on Patreon. And check us out on Discord. All the links can be found in the video description below. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.